If you or a loved one suffers from pornography, sex, or masturbation addiction, stay tuned till the end of this video because there will be a permanent solution to get rid of these nasty, disgusting habits for the rest of your life. What's more important than worshiping Allah? Seeing LeBron James dunk? Seeing Ronaldo or Messi kick a goal? What's more important than Allah? Watching Love Island? What's, what's more important than Allah? Tell me! Fortnite? You're saying Fortnite's more important than Allah? You're saying your PS4? Camping out for the PS5? That's which I'm going to be giving away, inshallah, as well, to stay tuned for that. That's what the shaitan wants us to do. He wants us to quit Islam. He wants us to quit hoping in Allah's mercy. He wants us to quit it. Despair. You know, Allah's not going to forgive you. He wants us to quit believing in Allah's mercy. He wants us to quit believing in Allah's forgiveness. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. All right, this time, inshallah, I'm remembering to record. Last video, right over here, I didn't record, so it's recording now, alhamdulillah. See, you're getting used to things. You, you learn along the way. You learn along the way, and the, the foolish person thinks that they have to be perfect before they do something. That's what a foolish person thinks. An insecure person thinks that way. A person who is hiding behind insecurity with the label of perfection is doing things and saying a bunch of things just so that they can buy more time so they don't do anything. You understand? But you see me? Your boy SQ in the Thobe, Juma Flow. You already know that rhymed as well too. And today's partner of the video is definitely my Tazkia. If you're, if you, and today's video is about quitting, and uh, it's going to be about quitting Islam, quitting Islam. I'm quitting Islam, and that's exactly what the Shaitan wants us to do. See, quitting is a very powerful tool. It's a powerful resource if you know when to use it and how to use it. Quitting isn't a bad thing. A lot of you might think that quitting is a bad thing. Quitting is not a bad thing. It's not. And uh, one of our partners helps people, youth or adults or adolescents or whatever, help quit pornography addictions, sex addictions, masturbation addictions. So definitely check out their stuff. Uh, the link is in the description. And go sign up for their, for their membership. You know what I mean? And, and just trust me. Trust me. This is something that will help you out and help you quit a bad habit that's not good for you at all. I'm quitting Islam. I'm quitting Islam. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I'm quitting Islam. That's what the shaitan wants us to do. He wants us to give up and to quit while Allah wants us to persevere and never give up. Can, can you see the polar opposites with that? The shaitan wants to drag you down and make you feel like you can't quit or it's not good enough for me that you have to quit Islam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to persevere and conquer your challenges, your fears, your difficulties. That's what he wants for us. But the shaitan is our enemy. He wants us to, to fail. He wants us to look at it like, like we're failing, as if we're failing. He wants us to quit Islam, but he doesn't want us to quit pornography. He wants us to quit Islam. He wants us to quit our salah, but he doesn't want us to quit uh, masturbating. He wants us to, to quit reading the Quran, but he doesn't want us to quit uh, you know, haram relationships or looking at something wrong or, or doing something that's not permissible or that doesn't uh, please Allah Azawajal. See, the shaitan wants you to quit the wrong things and make habits of things that don't belong in your life. But Allah is the opposite. Allah knows that if my, uh, you know, abadi, my, 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 my slave, my worshiper, my servant were to quit those bad habits, it would draw him closer to me. And that's what the shaitan does not want. The shaitan doesn't want us to be successful, guys. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran that the shaitan is your open enemy. Literally, there's no goodness. There's no good suggestion that could come from him. There's no like, you know what? You know what, shaitan? I, I thought, I misunderstood you, shaitan. You know what, shaitan? I was judging you, shaitan. No. He is our enemy. You can't trust anything from an enemy. If you knew you were walking down and an enemy was waiting around the corner, you'd go the other way. The shaitan is waiting for us to fall and to slip and he helps us fall and slip sometimes. Quitting isn't a bad thing. Quitting is a good tool if used correctly. I quit Medina University. People are upset about that. They think of it as like a stain. I look at it as a badge of honor. And you're like, oh, SQ, you quit as seeking knowledge and that's a badge of honor for you? Because that route of seeking knowledge wasn't for me. It might be for you, but it wasn't for me. And that's what matters. We have to know what's in our best interest and quit all the things that are stopping us from achieving our goals. So you know what I'm going to quit? I'm going to quit the NBA Finals. 
That's what I want to do. I want to quit the NBA Finals. You know why? Because it slowed me down from making content. You know what else I'm going to quit? Staying up really, really late at night. You know how it's impacted my life? It's making it tougher for me to wake up for Fajr, for me to wake up early, and so I can record my content, do my content, remember Allah Azza wa Jal, and do my morning routines. I can't do it. Why? Because I'm addicted to staying up later. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quit, and I'm going to sleep earlier. We have to know that quitting is a tool used when it's not helping you get to our goals. Quitting is a tool to use when it's not helping you get to your goals. So you're trying to be a doctor. Then why are you doing a whole bunch of things that are stopping you from achieving that goal? Quit it. Quit it. Because those things that are slowing you down are going to make you want to quit med school. Those things that are slowing me down are going to make me want to quit YouTube and social media and Instagram and be like, I can't do this. I have no time to record. But I was putting out daily content on Instagram. But I've slowed down. Why? Because I've prioritized other things. I want to relax a little bit. I'm getting comfortable. No, there needs to be a fire underneath us and not the hellfire, a fire that motivates us so that we can avoid the hellfire. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Did I mention that this video is sponsored by my partners at my Tazkiyah? And you can see I got the, the thobe on, the gear on. I hope you're saying, mashallah, Allahumma barik. I have to give the khutbah today. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. I love it. I, I, I love it. I love I, I am a quitter. Who said quitting was a bad thing? You should quit the things that are stopping you from achieving your goals. You should quit. The things that are stopping you from being a better Muslim or Muslima, quit it. Whatever thing is, whoever is helping you, whoever is making things difficult for you, quit them. Hi doggies. Assalamualaikum. Hi doggies. Bye doggies. Hey, it's all doggies. Bye doggies. MashaAllah. Quit. Quit all those people who are dragging you down. Quit them. Quit all the, the outings, the late nights, the money spending on things that are pulling you away from Allah. Quit it. Inshallah, tomorrow I'm going to be filming a quiz show with uh, non-Muslims or strangers. I'm going to be quizzing them, asking them five questions about Islam. If they get them correct, they win an iPhone. It's going to be really fun, and I'm hoping that someone wins tomorrow. These, these social experiments are only fun if we people win. I've realized that. So people have to win. I'm not going home until someone wins. Islam needs to win. And if for Islam to win, you got to quit the things that are stopping Islam from winning. Our private sins, our, our, our lack of adhkar, our lack of dhikr is stopping Islam from winning. And we are responsible for that. Not some king in Saudi Arabia. Not some drone that's being dropped on our brothers and sisters. Not the government. Us. If we can perfect ourselves and make ourselves better, I promise you, if we could quit all the things that are stopping Islam from succeeding and being successful in spreading, wallahi, we are the nation and the ummah that is going to bring peace to the world. It's us. It's not some other generations coming. It's us. It's you. It's you who's going to fix the issue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never ever test us with something that we can't handle. Allah knows we can handle this. We can fix it. We can bring solution and peace to the ummah, to the world. We have the tools. We have the responsibilities. We have the resources. We have the beautiful people such as yourself. We can do this. But it requires you to quit your bad habits that's stopping you from doing that. I want to quit Islam. What a funny title, isn't it? That's what the shaitan wants us to do. He wants us to quit Islam. He wants us to quit hoping in Allah's mercy. He wants us to quit it. Despair. You know, Allah's not going to forgive you. He wants us to quit believing in Allah's mercy. He wants us to quit believing in Allah's forgiveness. Mm. Man. The shaitan wants us to quit all the right things. The things that are wrong... We shouldn't quit those, right? Worshipping Allah isn't wrong, but He makes it seem like it is. Like there's more important things to do. What's more important than worshipping Allah? Seeing LeBron James dunk? Seeing Ronaldo or Messi kick a goal? What's more important than Allah? Watching Love Island? What's, what's more important than Allah? Tell me. Fortnite? You're saying Fortnite's more important than Allah? You're saying your PS4? Camping out for the PS5? That's, which I'm going to be giving away, inshallah, as well, to stay tuned for that. And through an Islamic quiz. What's more important than Allah? Tell me. What's more important than Allah? Tell, tell me. Give me something that's more important than Allah. You know the answer. The answer is nothing.
Yet we've prioritized those things. We need to quit. Not like go fully cold turkey. Don't. I'm just saying, make sure. And that's a stage that you might get to later on in life. It might not be the starting point, but it might be your end goal. Inshallah, perhaps, but quitting things that are stopping you from drawing closest to Allah, that will help you prioritize your life, prioritize your relationship with Allah, and get you back on task. Guys, this video was brought to you and uh, in partner with our partners, My Teskia, helping you to quit the things that you should be quitting, such as pornography, masturbation addiction, and sex addiction. Guys, please check out their stuff in the link in the description. Guys, please make sure that you're checking them out. And if you're if you're someone who needs to quit pornography, if you need help quitting these things, guys, I promise you, they will help you out. I would never recommend someone that I personally would not trust. And these are the dudes I do personally trust. So do check them out as well, too. I appreciate you all listening to me. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be the Khutbah. I'm going to be posting up the khutbah inshallah for tomorrow's video. Then Sunday's video inshallah bi'ithnillah is going to be the air, uh, the, the iPhone giveaway video, uh, video inshallah. That's going to be that. So maybe live I'm going to be seeing you on Monday only. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Check out some of my other uh, videos which are right over here. I hope you guys enjoyed and benefit from this video. If you did benefit from this video, you see that thumbs up button, don't hit it. Instead, just make a dua for me and my family. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.